Hi there everyone, Steve Watkins here at Tranquility Base. I'm on one of the three uh, properties that we have here, or the three named properties. We call this the upper deck. It's the uh, highest le highest elevation that we have off the river. And we have a, a mid-level where our home is down there, across the way over there, and a lower level down by the river. This particular uh, area that I'm showing you right through here on the upper deck is 14 acres. We began putting it in production last year as soon as we bought it, and we're gonna to continue to expand on that. I just cleaned this uh, area here up a bit, and I wanted to show you a little bit about it. It's uh, mostly designated as an orchard. You can see through here, I've got 30 blueberry plants right up here. Uh, honestly, right now, they are pretty severely deficient in nutrients and I will take care of that in the spring with some ammonium sulfate. But what I'm really proud of and what I wanted to walk through and show you are blueberries here, our blackberries standing up right across the way there. Uh, Dana and I spent the entire weekend setting up trellises and putting uh, our blackberries on the trellises and mulching all of our fruit bushes, as you can see right there lots of benefits with mulching so i'm just going to walk through here real quick try to do this in three minutes or less this is what i'm so proud of it's amazing what a little wire a couple of t-posts and some zip ties will do we've brought these the new growth on these blackberries here you can see them all around i think we've got about 40 blackberry plants right now our blackberry bushes they're just like grapes they'll follow the trellis we'll trim them back in the spring um, these plants believe it or not were no more than about six inches tall bare root when we planted them in april uh, and boy what it does to help make the maintenance easier i've been up here mowing look how close i can get i'm really really excited about that this was our squash plot that I have already plowed up for the summer. I have replanted a little bit of butternut squash there. It'll climb that trellis. Here's a bit of mustard greens and you can see some volunteer squash that has come up. More blackberries on the trellis. Another plot that's barren here for now. I plowed it up. This was where our uh, black-eyed peas were this year okra the diehard of the garden still producing i'm still getting about five to seven gallons a week out of here and giving it to whoever wants it come get some okra if you want it this was our cucumber patch we uh i believe we canned more than 100 quarts of pickles this year this particular area where we're producing, you can see on the perimeter is protected by a solar powered electric fence. I do that to keep the deer out. Here along the edge, I mean, this is not so pretty, but I do believe in leaving a little bit wild and we, uh, we do wildflowers, sunflowers for the hummingbirds, for the uh, goldfinches, for the butterflies, for whatever wants to come get it. And we will expand some more on our wildflower efforts next year as well. Next week, I'm excited about a project. We're going to build a barn and it'll have uh, storage for a couple of dairy cows that I'm gonna buy, a couple of Dexter dairy cows. We're going to uh, experiment with milk and cheese production. I'm gonna put a chicken coop on it. We're gonna have chickens here, I've decided, even though we lost some last year and that was my fault. I'm still deciding where we're gonna build a barn, where that pasture will be, and also the areas where we will expand our vegetable production next year. I do not know where that's gonna be. Just across the way there, can't see much about it, but just across the way is the beginning of a pecan grove. We've got 16 
Cato and Kansa pecan varieties over there. One of these days, my grandchildren are going to have a good time picking up pecans. Anyway, that is a part of what we've done this calendar year on the upper deck at Tranquility Base.